Hello, welcome back. Um, today we're going to continue our let's play. For the, for the Amasaya. Um, let's see. Boom. Wait. Ooh, we get some Skatari Rangers from this. Okay. I will, I will do everything in my power to obtain Skatari. Let's go. I don't... You know what? I'm just here to follow what it is, I suppose. <laughs> this seems like beyond the worst fucking idea ever. Like... Oh, look, let's just go out of our way to wake up the Necrons. Sounds like a great plan. Nothing can possibly go wrong, right? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I did get a comment last time that said kill everything that moves, so let's, let's engage. Alright. I don't really want to do it. This seems like the stealthiest way. Oh, that's neat. Spooky rune last time, glyph last time, so let's go with this one. Container of sort that seemingly has raw binary seething within. Clearly, it is of Xeno's origin. Speak not. Uh, sparks of data leak through the aged sealant used to contain the treasure within. Alright, so I guessed right. And we're gonna go through this thing. Extra neck rounds in battle. Alright. Um, I suppose this will help us kill everything that moves. I don't know. Okay, so that symbol's very good, I guess. That is the good symbol. I will I will remember that. And now we get to test out the um the double blaster. So oh Survive three rounds. Ah! Alright. I will use the uh, the wisdom of another comment this time. Uh, particularly the one that said don't die. So I will... I will not do that. In fact, that is my least favorite thing to do. Oh! Okay. Uh. Hmm. 
let's go into melee. What's the worst that can happen? It has danger sign. Oh wait, I need cognition points to attack. All right. What's the worst that can happen, right? I mean, it's only like the danger, like warning, don't do this signs everywhere. Sweet Jesus, no. Oh no. Oh no. Not a played one. Oh no. My attack priest is gonna be done into bloody taste. Lives, I have a cancer goal. Um, slapping. Oh, that worked. I mean, of course it worked. Yes. Awesome. But I have to scare me so much. Um, this guy is in for a very bad time. Um. There's no missing, so an attack of opportunity would just kill him anyways. There is, there's no chance for before survival for him. Good news, I'm supposed to survive three turns. And... oh. Kill all enemies. Fantastic. Cool. Um, Yes, 
excellent. He lives another turn. Oh, this coming in some ser serious touch, honestly, though. That healing was such a good choice. Um, is this stuck behind cover? Does that work? Let's try it. And then I can try my best to blow this guy into hell. Or wherever it is that comes to go. I they don't really have souls, so where would they go? Do they just... They're just uploaded to a computer somewhere or something. Oh, that did not work. That did not work at all. Um... Oh, over here's fine. Um, okay, I'm just gonna fiddly do walk over here. Grab that. And then just, uh. Just sort of, uh, exterminate. Played one, still very scary, but not as scary as it could be. Wait. Oh, you know what? Servitors get me cognition every time I get hit. Uh, I'm just gonna snap this dude. What's up, bruh? Just walks up to the background. I like your cut, G. Slaps him. Uh, grab that. Now I can. Dispense the undersized justice to this guy. Well, not quite dead yet. And hopefully that stops him from coming back. Not 
quite sure what it accomplishes, but... Oh. Alrighty then. I guess it accomplishes nothing. I have to end the caution here. I'm not gonna turn the speakers up to maximum. I, I'm not gonna wake up every goddamn Necron in the crypt. Swarm of tiny scarab like constructs emerges from the apertures in the walls and begins scurrying all over the Vox Castle, chewing through its casings with their steel mandibles. Um, uh, hmm. Let's budge. Hmm. Alright, uh, I guess, uh, I guess I'm shooting myself in the foot this episode. That's what I wanted. Wait, no, it wasn't. Fuck. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Um. We cannot. Can we put that on? No, we cannot. Oh, uh, you know what? Make uh, Megos Minarius would love these. You can only use one on. Okay. Um, let's upgrade him, make him, make him beef here if we can. Mm, 2 HP, 1 physical armor, 3 HP, 1 physical armor. Uh, 3, me no, 3 meters movement, 2, 2 HP, max, add 1 physical damage. Um, Quite a big something. Well, wait. I think that's basically. Okay, yeah, basically the same thing. Wait. Ooh, cognition freedom. Eh. Yeah, might as well. Like a way to attack. Um, 
HP then. Energy armor. Uh, hmm. You know what? Yeah, that's that. Energy. Wait, is that just? Oh, there's just a hole in his neck where a game should be. Neat. Okay. Oh, hey, so it's kind of like squares, like the models. It's kind of neat. Okay. So. Right. Um, cognition gate. Oh, really? All right, all right. So I do have Sketchy Rangers. Uh, let's go with this guy. Servitors. <coughs> but otherwise, it's just kind of typical. interspersed with, th with depictions of Necron constructs, most often engaged in war. Some of the images resemble the Necron destroyers with their distinctive anti-grab holes. Let's see, review. Search the pic pictographs for evidence of Necron holes from the League surrounding destroyers, or if you have the pictographs for evidence of destroyer battle tactics from weakness. Uh, you know what, let's go with Korka. The destroyers are evidently highly mobile, highly mobile strike units employed in open battle to eliminate units previously pinned down by the more numerous Necron warriors. While this is a logical use for the destroyers, it also confirms they are a major part of the Necron's battle strategies, and that understanding them further would be of great benefit when battling these Xenos. Alrighty, let's skip over here to this. Uh, Oh, we can just take any route we want. Uh, this chamber is bathed in a constant data flow transmitted by the tomb's own awakening protocols. This transmission must be a new ground energy. Um, let's see. It'll probably piss off the deck, so let's sneak out. I, I just do not like the decks in this one. Hell yeah, cognition points. Behold the wisdom of the Kropis. Lord Astronomer to the court of Saragon. To him no mystery of the stars is left obscure. The heavens themselves stand in testament to the might of Lord Sa Saragon. These words of blasphemy are deeply troubling, but the hope but the cohort gains some insight into the mentality of the foe. Let's go into this room, why not? Just, just go here. Ooh, there. Uh, this panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room, beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. I think this one was worked out before, right? Hey! Already made back the Skatari. A container of some sort 
that seemingly has wrought binary sealing within. Clearly, it is of Xeno's origin. Sparks of data leak through the ancient sealant used to contain the treasures within. Alright, let's hop to this next one. Shut the fuck up, Videx. Um, a mortally wounded Skatari lies on the floor of this chamber, his torso laid open by gauze fire. He was evidently caught in a firefight and left behind when his unit fell back. It is likely the Skatari were attacked by Necron destroyers. This Skatari might have witnessed their tactics up close. Um, let's take a look at Hmm. Oh, I am shooting myself in the foot tonight. Though the troop was badly hurt, quick and dedicated medical intervention by the Kirkwood's tech priests stabilizes him. Stabilizes his vital signs. Though he can yield no intelligence for now, he will eventually fight again. The cohort has lost precious time intervening, but are provided with a rare example of survival against odds. Uh, I thought I was going to get a Skatari. I did not. Okay. But, uh... God, that puzzle has been basically solved by the game. The cohort finds a sarcophagus containing a Necron destroyer that seems inert. It may have malfunctioned and failed to respond to the tomb's awakening protocols. I don't like how take would work. Nearby Skatar unit enters the chamber a few minutes later, but uh, but they are unable to open the sarcophagus safely. Instead, they take picked grabs and samples that help them describe the Necron's awakening process. Chill. Cool. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm trying not to shoot myself in the foot as much as I already have. <laughs> so, oh no. I'm really not gonna. thing in the tabletop. And these guys' only job, only job, is to just hold him there when he gets there. Um, I'm afraid he, wait, this man's a melee, okay. He's gonna come around that side. Just gonna move him past there. That turn. Actual absolute unit. May goes Jeremiah. Grievous mistakes. Slap him, servitors. Ah, I believe. 
believe I have funneled myself into a corner. This does not bode well for me. swing from around the other side. So, uh, I think Jeremiah is in range if he actually does anything. Uh, I'm gonna scare him soon. So what about that scarab? Well, at least he's right next to uh, Vegas Minarius. Who is kind of chalky. I hope he doesn't get one shot. Oh my god, he's, um... He might die this turn. Hmm. I do not like the, uh, the Necron Initiative letting them take two turns before I get one. Skatari will do as a Skatari does, and slap that dude with a power sword. Oh, and then I can just walk over here. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Um, hmm. I do 
not like this. I do not have a cognition left. Oh, right. Then you have life. He's a tanky boy, but, uh, I really don't want him to have to be a tanky boy. Oh wait, no, it's there. I'm just dumb. It's a two-turn cooldown. Ah! Me no like. Ah, uh, this is not looking very good. I don't know why I always divide my forces like this. It, every single time I'm like, oh hey, I'll just divide my forces. That'll that'll end well. And I'm always surprised when it never ends well. Um, this guy's gonna go out like a fucking jet. Actually, the last time of combat is a support chap. He's the only dude left. Ah, giving him that health upgrade really did help. Okay. Yeah, he's just gonna bring the whole. complete. The cohort withdraws from the tomb, having experienced the prowess of the Necron destroyers firsthand. If nothing else, the Adeptus Mechanicus have learned of the stark danger these Necron warforms pose.
Okay, so it just pays to replace every time. Okay. Does not seem that well. Oh, that's an active. Um, I think I. I think I won't. Max the machine. Uh, oh, you know what? I think that makes them hit for max damage. Uh, I think this episode's gone on for quite some time so i think i think that'll be it um please remember uh like comment subscribe thank you have a fantastic day